what's up guys and for day 23 for the light of the blue challenge it is tembo the badass elephant again let me go ahead and redo that intro in case it didn't take but if it did take it'll be awesome because it's gonna be the second time around because i like saying the name of this title hey guys it's michael for family gamer review and today for day 23 of the light of the blue challenge we are going to play tembo the badass elephant now guys before you think this is a game meant for you know anyone that because of the name itself it's for like older audiences it's not sega just wanted to have some fun with the title and this game itself is a fun game now if you see here the controls are very simplistic jump dash water that's it three buttons guys and this is i i, I can't even start going into how much fun this game is i i love tembo if i could find a stuffed elephant that looks like Tembo, I will put it here in the office and let no one touch it and everyone look at it. Now, simplistically simple. As you see here, bad guy shows up, bunch of robots. He's, he's a real bad, bad guy. And then, you know, the armies come back. They got to launch a counterattack. They realize they're overwhelmed. So they got to call in their big buddy. Look, he's, he's thinking right now. Who can I call? Who can I call? Oh, wait. There go Tembo. Let's call Kimbo. But how does the elephant answer a phone? He doesn't. He's just going to rush in there and save the world. And that's what you do. He uses a satellite phone. Actually, maybe Timbo does have a satellite phone. Actually, he does. See? He has it inside of a tree. I did not know that. And he uses his trunk to answer the phone. That is awesome. Okay? I don't know. If you cannot smile at an elephant answering a cell phone from a tree, you have no soul. And, and a headband that's a 70s headband like B.A. Baracus from the A18 so here it is as you see the game is very colorful Tembo rushes he jumps he has water to put out fires this is a tutorial and I'm going to showcase this because it you know it shows you know how easy this is he jumps and look he's graceful in the air a lot more graceful than I am in a swimming pool. But see, he jumps. He could float for a second. And he uses his derriere to get peanuts. Because Tembo likes peanuts. And he could crush things. Look at that. He could also get hurt. So you want to avoid those. Do you see me gingerly crush that? And then he likes fruit. What elephant doesn't? And Tembo actually trained with Mike Tyson back in the 90s and learned how to do an uppercut. So watch this. He runs and he uppercuts. Now, this is all just to show you what Tembo can do. Again, this is a tutorial level. Normally we don't do tutorials, but I wanted to show this. Now, here's the butt stomp. Tembo's proud of his weight. You know, don't get it twisted. And you see how he could do that. This is just an overall fun game. So you hold A right here. No, you push A and hold X. So you see how he bounces. And he got all the peanuts. And there's combos that you can make. And there we go. So when you want to slide, you push X and then you slide. And then dash jump, so while you're dashing, push and hold A, and he could pass large gaps. And now here is when there's fires. Elephants, I don't know if you know this or not, elephants are prone to put fires out. And I love how Sega added that feature. So like, let's say if you need to put a fire out and you can't reach it, you jump, and you put it out. So again, guys, this is a great platformer now again that's a tutorial and you get a nice little 10 point achievement tembo talks to baby tembo you know tells him you know do your homework stay in school you know don't stay up too late watching tv don't be going on instagram you know things that you know an adult elephant will tell a child elephant because hey look at it this way if he has a cell phone there obviously he has internet service so we got to keep this in mind guys okay so <laughs> <laughs> Camille's sitting here laughing with me. But getting back to the why this is on the 30-day challenge for Light It Up Blue, this is just a fun game. 
uh, for the older gamers out there that grew up playing Super Mario Brothers and so forth, and you know the you know left to right 2D side scrolling, this is you know very reminiscent of that. Um, granted, it's more modernized because you know Mario's a plumber and Pembo's an elephant, but you see how the levels are set up. They're set up in zones, and you know you race through each zone, you rescue people, you do everything that needs to be done. Um, this game is a huge hit here in the office because, you know, one of the many reasons why is it's, you know, it's so simplistic to play. It's, it's nothing. Yeah. And there's peanuts. He has to collect peanuts. Tembo likes peanuts and he's graceful. You know, people salute him because Tembo, you know, deserves the respect. And he just bunt stomped through a lot of buildings. I don't know how friendly that is, but you know, are you going to tell him now? I'm not see look at that so there you go and there's some bad guys as you see here there is no violence when you saw Tembo run over the bad guys nothing they didn't like bleed out or you know anything they just get knocked over just like a Saturday morning cartoon I know I missed some peanuts there and I'm gonna go back for my peanuts because I like peanuts now, as Tembo, the, as Tembo is not a multiplayer game, Camille just asked about like the multiplayer aspect. This is not a multiplayer game. This is a single player game. So unfortunately, this is something that you know when you guys play this or you you know have it for your you know for your digital library. Understand this is only a single player game. Does that mean does it take away from the fact that it's something you don't want to own? No, I would highly recommend for everyone to pick this up. This is one of those games again that. You know that is just overall fun it's not over violent it's not over you know saturated with too much controls and buttons uh there is no multiplayer aspect of this so for parents that don't want their kids going online you don't have to worry about that you know is my kid going to be online is are they going to face questionable people and so forth no this is not a multiplayer game uh not even online multiplayer which is a, not a rarity as to say the least but it's more you know not as common anymore like how with the day and age of the internet everybody feels that you have to be online and there's sometimes that you don't want to be online so so what we do is slide this tempo does that and look trampoline because he's very light on his feet but getting back you know I'm, I'm having way too much fun with this broadcast guys and i apologize for that but um one thing about this game that's special needs friendly is not only is it very easy to play, it's not something that when we had this testing in the office where people felt like, you know, we can't have, you know, our children play this or it's not age appropriate. This is something that could be played by everyone. And, and when I say everyone, it's not something where it's like, you know, okay, you know, my six-year-old can't play it. If, you know, if I'm able to play this, We've had quite a few people on the, you know, on the spectrum, all levels of the spectrum, play this game, and they've literally, after going through the tutorial level, they are able to pick up this game and play this without any problems whatsoever. Now, this is one of the rare games that's on our list, next to Rain Man Legends, and I'm trying to think of a few others uh, that was that friendly to play. Now, here's a zone you have to rescue people because you know Tembo is all about the rescue. And don't let it fool you. Don't let the simplicity of this game fool you. This game does get challenging, you know, later on in the game. Like, one thing Sega's been known to do is they've always been known to, you know, up the, you know, the difficulty level in later levels. Now, don't feel that that's a deal breaker, to say the least, because it's not. Uh, this is actually good for, like... You know, children that are between 8 and 12 years of age that are looking for a challenge. This is a very fun and challenging game. And I feel like I'm taking Camille's job right now by explaining all this. <laughs> she says, go ahead. But I'm having so much fun. But this, uh, I can only just say positive things. Um, Tembo is just those one of those games that is just overall fun. And even if you're not into platformers like some people are not and you know Camille's not a platforming person to per se but she even herself had fun when she played this and you know I'm gonna give her the mic and give me one second 
So I can take this headset off. I'm going to give her the mic and let her talk about the game a little bit because we did start this broadcast a little bit later. And I know it's Sunday right now and, you know, there's people that are tuning in and so forth. So we're going to cut it a little bit short, but I'm going to let Camille talk for a few moments from the mom aspect of why this is such a great game. So give me one moment. Hey everyone, Camille here from Family Gamer Review. Thank you for tuning in to one of our true favorites, Tenbo the Badass Elephant. Uh, and once again, parents, the title, uh, that's really the only single questionable component in terms of family friendliness and if you can get past the fact that the word badass is used in the title uh, I think you could hear it in Michael's voice um, I just you know heard him doing his part of the review and the one thing that it proved is that it is impossible to play Tenbo and not laugh yourself silly uh, whether you're doing well in the game, whether you're not doing well in the game, this game is just pure fun. Uh, it's not overstimulating in any way, shape, or form. We haven't, none of our special needs players had any problems with rage or frustration or anything like that. It was just pure laughter in the office during uh, playtesting for Tenbo. And one of the reasons that we wanted to feature it on the 30 day light it up blue challenge ah another achievement uh is that the game is it has enough combination of different elements uh between collecting peanuts and and dodging fake you know, or not fake, but cartoon bullets from a, a tank. Uh, it has enough to be cognitive, cognitively stimulating. So your gamer is not going to get bored. Your gamer is guaranteed to be entertained the entire time. And that's at any age, uh, whether it's six or 60. Uh, this game is just so much fun. Uh, but at the same time, it is, like Michael said, uh, it's so family friendly. It really is. And I like the fact that uh, it can be cognitively stimulating for the kids, both on the spectrum and otherwise. Uh, but at the same time, it is so family friendly. And there aren't too many titles that we've seen span uh, those extremes so much in the same game. Being that family friendly, but still being cognitively challenging enough uh, to be stimulating, but not overstimulating uh, to cause any game rage or frustration or anything like that. Uh, so you'll be laughing the whole time as you can see, I mean, you're playing as an elephant, collecting peanuts, and saving the world. I mean, you're an elephant collecting peanuts and saving the world. I mean, what that that's just so hilarious in and of itself. Um, and like Mike said, you know, they were just having a bit of fun in the title. There is nothing in the game that's offensive in any way, shape, or form. And... It may not uh, be very strong on the social aspect, uh, you know, in developing social skills because it is a solo game. But guess what? There are a lot of solo gamers out of out there, uh, whether they're only kids, uh, you know, only children, or whether they're just maybe your gamer uh, or your child just isn't the extroverted type. And they don't want to play with others. Tenbo the Badass Elephant is a fabulous choice for that gamer. And there is, you know, multiplayer has a trade-off. Like we mentioned in our review of Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, which is, 
as far as multiplayer games go, Star Wars Battlefront is definitely one of the safer, more family-friendly ones. But with a game like Tenbo, where there's no online play at all, uh, you as a parent don't even have that concern. You don't even have to think about uh, is someone using profanity in my child's presence online? Are they saying anything inappropriate? Come on, Mike. You're leaving peanuts on the table. Try making that jump with <laughs> we can't even get through the broadcast without laughing. That's how much fun this game is. Uh, so, you know, this really is a great choice for your digital library. As you can see, there's, there's enough action in this game that your gamer is not going to get bored. No part of this game gets tedious. It's engaging. It is hilarious. Oh, come on, you big ballerina. Get those peanuts. Oh, so close. Uh, but sometimes, you know, especially maybe you have a child who's on the spectrum or otherwise... Uh, who does play multiplayer, but you just don't have the time or aren't in a situation where you can supervise, you can pop in Tenbo uh, because there is no multiplayer aspect. So you don't have to have one eye, one ear uh, at minimum uh, watching your gamer and making sure there's nothing inappropriate coming up. Uh-oh, elephant down. Uh... You know, it's all fantasy violence. It's more benign than your average Saturday morning cartoon. But at the same time, it is nonstop entertainment. And it does provide enough of a challenge uh, to keep your gamers brain ticking. You know, it's definitely not a mindless platformer. And that's why we, you know, really believe that it deserved a place in the 30-day lighted up blue challenge. Uh, this may not be as calming a platformer as, say, something like, uh, what would you say, Mike, Rayman Legends or, you know, some that, some that can really be cooldowns. Uh, Right, like plants versus zombies. Uh, this is more of a game uh, where you you could still pop in Tenbo uh, if your child was a li has been in a bit of an overstimulating environment uh, and maybe is a little bit too too worked up. Uh, Tenbo can still be very calming, but it's not so calm that your gamer isn't going to be challenged cognitively. No falling asleep during this game. It's fun the whole, every, every minute of it is fun. So. Ah, okay, that's very important to point out. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Mike is n deliberately not going up, uh, going for all of the power-ups because, uh, as we've mentioned, we don't like to do, uh, let's play sessions. Uh, we don't like to give away too much of the game. Uh, we do, you know, obviously our goal is to review and showcase games that we think would be great for your gaming family. But uh, because we find that so many times parents say, oh, you know, I, I, I heard of that game, but I thought that it would be too violent until uh, I, I saw your broadcast or your video review. And then I saw that it really wasn't that violent. It was OK. And that's what we like to do. We like to help people make smarter gaming choices uh, but at the same time, we don't want to give away the ending or really the beginning. We just want to give you a general idea of uh, what can it do for your gamer? Uh, what 
developmental skills can it help with, if any? And how family friendly is it? And uh, Tenbo the Badass Elephant is just, it's a fabulous choice for your digital library for gamers on the spectrum, off the spectrum. Uh, we've actually had some older people come into the office while we were playtesting and uh, they were just cracking up nonstop. I mean, every, you know, kept stopping to look at the screen. What's the name of this game again? They would keep asking. Uh, so it seems that everybody who's around when Tenbo is on, everyone is can't help but be interested. So. Mm -hmm. uh, smart. Uh, Mike deliberately did not. He missed a few deliberately so that it wouldn't reveal uh, what you open up if you do get all of them. So, again, spoilers... Uh, can often, um, it's, it's not good for, you know, to spoil the game, because it's like spoiling a movie, and why would you go out and see it? And we like to feature the best, and that's what the 30 Day Lighted Up Blue Challenge is all about. It's about showcasing the best of the best, uh, particularly when it comes to autism awareness, um, uh, he's using a trunk and a very advanced gymnastics routine to get the peanuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game, it, it never ceases to make one laugh. It's, it's just, you know, we... All of the games that we're featuring for the 30 Day Lighted Up Blue Challenge uh, are featured for a very good reason. They all have their own individual qualities that make them suitable for the 30 Day Lighted Up Blue Challenge and Autism Awareness Month. But I really have to say that one quality that Tenbo brings is just happy, happy, happy. This game is a big... 2,000 pound dose of happy. Uh, how else can I describe it, Mike? It's a feel good game. Yeah, it, there you go. It's a feel good game. Uh, you know, even if it's not for your younger gamer, if you're stressed out, if you're feeling the blues, uh, put in Tenbo. Problem solved. This game is just such a happy pick-me-up. What is that called in gymnastics when they do that uh, on the uneven bars? Look at him. <laughs> it's funny. He, he's heavy enough to crush through buildings and walls, but elegant enough uh, to twirl like a gymnast. It is, it's just so funny. Come on, Tenbo. Oh. Here we go. Oh, okay, no, don't give away secrets. In fact, I think at this point we've already given away quite a bit. Is that a jumbo bowling ball? Okay, that's a jumbo bowling ball. That's hilarious. Even the city in the background looks funny. You know, the animation is just fabulous. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, uh, Michael just said, you know, you have to sometimes think out of the box, and that's what I meant when I said that uh, the game couldn't be more family-friendly than it is, uh, but it's still very stimulating cognitively for your gamer. Uh, do not think that your gamer's brain cells are going to be asleep and, and eroding away while playing Tenbo the Badass Elephant. Quite the contrary. Just 
So. Yeah, I don't think that we should really give away any more uh, in terms of footage because it's we're at the 25 minute mark. Uh, you know, there's obviously there's not enough kind words that we can say for Tenbo the Badass ele Elephant. Uh, especially do not be put off by the title because of, you know, uh, the word badass being in the title. This game is completely family friendly. It is perfectly fine for gamers uh, on the spectrum as well as gamers not on the spectrum. Uh, and this is just, it's a, it's a fun game. One, one last thing that I will say about this game, and I don't think I've been saying it about enough of the titles that we've been covering, is that this is one of those games where if your gamer is right in the next room gaming, uh, you will probably not be disturbed by the sound of the game. Uh, there's no dialogue. It's just this sort of... I, I would venture to say this is sort of old Indiana Jones-ish type of music. It's... Uh, it's clearly orchestra music, but it's meant to be, you know, a, right, more of a classic platform, but uh, action kind of music. Uh, so this is one of those games where if your gamer's right in the next room playing Tenbo, uh, you're not going to be annoyed. You're not going to be aggravated, and you're not going to be yelling into the next room, turn that down, please. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that makes it family friendly, uh, not just for the people playing it, but for the people who are around those who are playing it. Very friendly game. So with that, we are going to end the broadcast. Mike, what do we have on deck for, uh, day 24? Tomorrow is a very, very interesting game. Uh, small radios, big televisions. Uh, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I would definitely tune in for that one, folks, because that is... Uh, it's a very interesting game. Who is the developer? Wasn't it Adult Swim Games? Pardon me, from the, uh, if you're familiar with the Cartoon Network, you're probably familiar with Adult Swim Games. Uh, and this is one of our favorite titles from them. So definitely tune in for Small Radio's Big Televisions. And we thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. Be, be sure to add Tenbo to your digital library because he's just so cute. Look at that. Is that peanut butter? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs>